individual that is living check to check, maybe you're wanting to start budgeting your money or even you're interested in the fire movement, financial independence, retire early, or invest in your money. Well, you have to check out the documentary on Netflix called Get Smart With Money. Y'all, this documentary was so good. And you know, usually for the month of September, I would be talking about my budget, but I thought it would be a great idea to talk about this documentary instead. But I will tell you for the month of September, there are five Fridays in the month. So that means if you get paid weekly or bi-weekly, you're gonna get paid an extra check. So go over and check out this video where I'm talking about five ways to maximize getting an extra check. But in this video, we're gonna be talking about the documentary, Get Smart With Money. Let's get into it. Hey everybody, I'm Tasha from the Major Change Group where we believe small changes can create big results. And if this is your first time on the channel, welcome. We talk about how to get your money straight, how to increase your credit score, and how to use your credit card like a debit card. In the Netflix documentary, Get Smart With Money, it's really following four individuals where they're getting one year of financial coaching from four different financial advisors or coaches. And so out of all of the four, I only knew one, and that was the budgetista, Tiffany Aliche. But then there was also Paula Pant, Mr. Money Mustache, and Ross Mack. And so it was really good to get a different perspective from the other three financial advisors or coaches. And it's following the individuals for one year getting the coaching. And I thought that it was a really good mix of income levels because it really goes from one individual making a couple of thousand to one couple that's making over 300,000 per year. So I thought that was really good. I really think that the documentary is broken down into four parts because each person really needs a different aspect of coaching. So you have Paula, she's gonna be coaching Lindsay on how to earn more money. Then you also have the budgetista, Tiffany Aliche. She's gonna be coaching Adriana for budgeting and debt repayment. Next, you have Mr. Money Mustache, where he's gonna be working with this couple on the fire movement, financial independence, retire early. And then you have Ross Mack, where he's with Jalen, and he's gonna be talking about investing. And so I thought it was really good to have these four aspects of the financial spectrum. So let me know in the comments, which of these financial spectrums do you really need assistance with? So first we start off with Paula and Lindsay. And without giving too much information, Lindsay had two jobs. She was working like 60 hours a week, but she really felt like she wasn't going anywhere. Now, while she had a good grasp on her skills, Paula really was able to come in and show her how she could earn more money by taking the skills that she had and scaling it so that she could earn more. Because Lindsay, she had a good grasp, but you know how when your money is funny, Sometimes you're not thinking right because you're in that fight or flight mode. And so Paula was able to come in and give her a little bit more direction so that she could scale and bring in more money. And so I thought that this was a really good, you know, showing where she started to where she went at the end of the one year. So I really liked that aspect. And next, we had Tiffany, the budgetista. She was paired with Adriana. And Adriana, she had a lot of credit card debt and a whole lot of student loans. And so the budgetista was able to come in and look at budgeting with debt repayment. But what I really liked about this, it really kind of, you know how you have the debt snowball and then you have the debt avalanche. Now, I think they really show more so of the debt avalanche because they were showing how she was taking her high interest credit cards and paying those down first. 
because that could really eat up your money. But, you know, on the one hand, you really have to decide when you look at the debt avalanche, taking your highest interest rate, paying that down compared to the debt snowball, where you taking your lowest debt all the way down to your highest debt, then making your lowest payment and then just kind of going down the debt snowball. But this really highlighted doing the debt avalanche. But let me know in the comments, do you have a lot of credit card debt and do you prefer the debt avalanche compared to the debt snowball? And so that's what I really liked about this one, you know, kind of looking at the debt avalanche. So next we had Ross Mack and he was paired with Jalen and Jalen was a football player that had got like $1.6 million when he was drafted into the NFL and he had spent like almost all of the money and only had like $280,000 left. And so Ross was really able to come in and show him how to invest. But what I really liked about this aspect because, you know, with investing, it's kind of scary. You know, it could be kind of scary for folks. And so to get this real live, you know, how Jalen was feeling about investing because Ross was really wanting him to invest more money. And then he was saying, well, no, I'm just going to start with like $1,000. And I'm like, you know, like I can really feel that. And so I really liked the dynamic that they had. So you really have to check this out. I'm telling you, you have to watch this documentary because I really feel like they bring in and really highlight true feelings of how, you know, just regular people would feel. But then to also see, you know, like he had $1.6 million dollars. And then, you know how, like, if you don't have a financial background and then you just get so excited and then you're buying things and then maybe if a whole lot of money is not coming in, you know, it just kind of gets you to think about the money in a different way. And so by him showing him how to invest, I really enjoyed it. And I'm going to definitely have to look Ross Mack up so that, you know, I can even understand investing more because while... I mainly focus on budgeting and getting our foundation together. This year, I was wanting to get more so in investing a little bit more because I was going to take out a Roth IRA so I could go ahead and max that out for, because I still had time to do it for 2021 and then started for 2022, but I kind of backed off of it. But just seeing how... Ross was able to help Jalen. I was just like, you know what? I think I'm going to get back into it. So let me know in the comments, are you investing or are you wanting to get into investing? I really think you would like their segment of the documentary. Last but not least, we have Mr. Money Mustache. He was with this couple. Now, I didn't get the couple's name, but this couple it was kind of highlighting how the husband was an engineer and he ended up uh, being laid off. And so the wife, she had went from making like 70,000 to a couple of years, making like $300,000 a year. And so they were really focusing on the fire movement, financial independence, retire early. So I really liked how he had, Mr. Money Mustache had came in and was telling him, you know, I had a budgeting aspect to where, okay, where is all the money going with groceries, shopping on Amazon, and then also gave the aspect, if you are wanting to, you know, do the financial independence, are there some things with some of your big expenses, like let's say your house, what can you do? Could you possibly sell the house? Could you rent the house out? So it really gave a lot of information from that aspect. But I'm telling you, you guys have to go over and check this out. Now, overall, I did not want to give too much of the documentary away because I really want you to go over and watch the documentary. But if you have seen the documentary, let me know in the comments, which of the individuals do you feel like you kind of connected with the most? Now, the four aspects that I think that the documentary touched on was one, budgeting and debt repayment, two, investing, three, how to earn more and scale, 
and four, the fire movement, financial independence, retire early. So that's where I kind of thought that the movie was geared towards, but also giving us a real life look into these individuals' lives because it was a one whole year journey. And by the time it got to the end of the documentary, they gave us how are these individuals doing now? And so I really would want to know since the documentary has came out, you know, how do the individuals feel? But I really enjoyed it. And like I said in the beginning, I only knew one of the financial advisors slash coaches. And that was the budgetista Tiffany Aliche. But now I have three other financial coaches and advisors that I can take a look at. And you can too. So let me know what you think in the comments and please like, subscribe, share with a friend, turn your notification bell on so you will be notified when new content drops. I thank you so much for watching. Until next time. It's not a game, sir.